hello 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 everybody and welcome to the second episode of what's the topic again podcast i am one of the co-hosts imaria love aka mars and i am deborah love the other (laughs) co-host and today's topic is going to be about technology evolution on our perspectives of technology and um we are just going to be uh, talking about a few different types of technology, things that we probably had to progress and learn on or either just grow with because of the economy, the environment. <laughs> and I just want to think about as far as technology from, you know, being a product of the 70s yeah. Yeah. and just seeing how um, certain things that I grew up with, how it changed for the better mm-hmm. over the years compared to what it was when I was a little girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, uh, we're going to be talking about a couple items of technology that has uh, evolved throughout the years and decades. And uh, yeah, let's get started. And we back. <laughs> and first of all, I want to say I hope everyone had a great week. I know this is going to be the start of the new week, especially since um, Daylight Savings Time in. So, mm-hmm. you know, now we are fall back. We got that extra hour sleep that we're getting in as far as the week. So I hope everyone had a great week and hopefully, you know, our Sunday podcast will bring you some joy to start off your week. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree with that too. All right, let's get into the first three things that we're talking about. First thing we're talking about is television. Yeah. And I prefer my mom to start with this because (laughs) it started with her with probably something a lot smaller. (laughs) Smaller? No, they were a lot bigger. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I remember um, growing up, everyone, I mean, we did have small TVs. You yeah. know, we had the little black and white TVs as mm-hmm. far as in our bedroom. We did have, um, I think we didn't get a color TV mm-hmm. until I was in high school. I think it was high school or maybe junior high school. I so know. when was that for you? Huh? High school, when was that for you? It was back in the 80s. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give people context here. Okay. <laughs> it was back in the 80s, but I remember us having um, a color TV in the living room, and then we, me and my sister, we had a um, black and white small TV in our bedroom. She wasn't mm-hmm. too um, into watching too much stuff on TV anyway. The TV basically was on my side of the room, so I basically had control of the TV. But it was just the fact that, we only had limited channels, you know, mm-hmm. just the basic channels. But I know Mama at one time, all she wanted was this big floor model color TV. Mm-hmm. And it was like a TV. It was like big inside of a box. It mm-hmm. took up a lot of space. Mm-hmm. And um, it was remote control. We finally had the TV with remote control because growing up, we had to click, 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 mm-hmm. turn, click, 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 click. You see, passed it. You <laughs> passed the channel. Now we got to go back around again. Click, 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 click. You see click that, like in it. older TV shows that had yeah. it, you know, around that time in the 70s If you watch, If you watch Good Times, if yeah. you watch um, Brady Bunch. Yeah, you that's, know, I watch Brady Bunch a lot. Like that's that. what I mean, yeah, yeah, so if you watch things like that, yeah, it, w- it was clicking. Mm-hmm. So, and if you fast forward to today to see how, even though we had a big TV on the floor, now those big TVs are mounted on the wall. Yeah, so they a lot thinner know, than probably yeah. what it was. So it, it just it just really evolved and evolved for the better. Yeah, you know. So your first TV. Yeah, it, it was small, but naturally, anyway, the first like actual, if I would say, old style TV that I had growing up was this big brick. TV, it was huge, and you had to like press buttons on the bottom to like even switch channels on there specifically. And um, you should have had a remote to it. Yeah, it did, but it got lost in like transit. Okay, so you lost it. <laughs> no, I did not lost it. Yeah. But <laughs> but specifically, it was uh buttons on the bottom of it, and it was small. I mean, it it was kind of bulky, I would say so. But it was a nice TV for like my age as a kid. Anyway. Right. I didn't need no big screen TV as a kid. You know, it hurt your eyes. That's what parents say anyway. <laughs> Stop staring at the TV screen. Go hurt your eyes. Too too long. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, specifically, that was like the first TV. And let's just say this. I had the TV. Still have the TV after uh, a decade. Almost two decades anyway. <laughs> but that TV. You talking about the TV I got you when you was five years old? Yes. With the DVD player yes. built in it? 
she still can use it because yeah. they still looking at DVDs. So I do. I look at that as being a it's good a, thing. thing. I do. <laughs> I do look at my old kid DVDs that used to that you used to buy me anyway. Oh my gosh, that TV is old, but it's, it's still a good. It's a decent TV. Like if you like see it at like a thrift store or something, somebody will buy that or a pawn shop. Yeah, somebody will. Get you can that. still put apps and stuff on it, but yeah, yeah it is an older TV. That TV, ooh, let's say about two thousand nine, yeah. two thousand ten. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, yeah, that and it just about a thirteen years ago up until now. Yeah, that that is an old TV. Yeah. you know, as far as technology is concerned, because it advances. So quickly, you know, mm-hmm. you can buy a new TV this month, and probably six months down the road, your TV is no TV compared to the new TV they're going to put out six months later. Yeah. Like now, anyway, especially with the resolutions, how it used to be like probably pixelated, yeah. and now it's like you looking at it like you're in, it's like real person. 4K. If not better, you know. Yeah, it is. And the, the resolution, resolution is, is better. so good. <laughs> it's insane. I think um, looking at TVs, I think I. 720 pixel. Yeah. Then what now? What 720? 720, 180, no, two, I think 1080. 1080. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, 2160. Yeah, 2160. And then it jumps to like all the way to 4K, I 4K. believe. 4K. Yeah, like then, 2K, like 2K, 4K. I think but then they got some goes. other stuff out there too that we don't even know anything about. So we're not going to get into it. I no. seen some stuff, some OLED and all this other it's stuff. It's like that's so too that's, much. That's, that's nerd way, talk. way above my technology level yeah. head. So we're not going to even do that. We're just going to remain in the realm of what it was when I was a kid compared to how it is now because it's so, so, so much better now. Yes. But at that time that we were looking at TV, mm-hmm. that's what we knew when we was growing up. Mm-hmm. So that Y'all probably thought that, that was, was the best thing too, you know? It was. I mean, we were able to watch TV, <laughs> yeah. you know, for that certain, t- to midnight because <laughs> all channels shut down at midnight. Oh, yeah. So that was it. You, you're going to hear the national anthem and TV's not going to come back on. At least no channel's not going to come back on until... Probably what six o'clock in the morning. I guess if it if it was at that time, I know when I we woke up, the channels was back was, on. I got a question. It's like back then, anyway. Was it more since just local channels that were just available to y'all, and that was it? It really wasn't that too many networks like that. Yeah, just local TV. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it's just a certain question that uh, I was that's that's all about. we needed at that time. I mean, yeah, you yeah. know, they they used those local networks. Those was the big. Big networks at that time: ABC, NBC, mm-hmm. CBS. Mm-hmm. Still the same things that we that's still yeah. in existence today, but it's so many other channels, mm-hmm. you know, along so with that today. So many other networks that yeah, are out exactly, there. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Compared to how how it was, I can, I can you know we can go into the first time that we did get cable TV. That mm-hmm. whereas the channels was expanded out a little bit more as far as that, but we really didn't see a whole lot of channels evolving until I got in my 20s or something, then you can see. Because mm-hmm. right now, you're talking about 200, 400 channels yeah. and stuff. I'm like, yeah. that, that is too many channels. <laughs> yeah. Who going to watch that many channels? At once, and, you know? Right, right. So you're still going to be, to me, just a few channels is enough for me. But yeah. moving I, on, <laughs> we're going to go into it because we'll be like. Yeah, we going to, like, I was about to talk about cable and everything. See that, see that? So we'll be like, what's the topic again? And oh. we'll be talking about something else. Oh, so we'll be talking about technology. So yeah. here we go. Telephone. Ooh, that's a good one right there. In my, let me start with myself with my generation. Specifically, my first phone was an iPhone six, like when it first launched, and that was probably like back in twenty fourteen, fifteen. I don't know. I, I don't believe. I iPhone. believe it was like twenty fourteen or fifteen. That's what I believe. I can tell you about that. <laughs> like twenty fourteen, fifteen. It's around that time. Let's put it like that. And I remember they finally like extended the line like you have the six the six plus the six s the uh the six almost all these different versions for the iphone for the first time everybody was swiping it snatching it up that was my first ever phone and i still have an iphone to this day i remember even downgrading (laughs) to a samsung hated every moment of that (laughs) but me now i have an iphone x i don't care that's gonna be a phone that i'll have for a little while before i upgrade or something but specifically, that's I, I only got used to just, you know, smarter technology. It's slim phones. That's what I was used to. Well, I'm going to go back and interject on the iPhone being your first phone because that was it not, was not your th- first phone. That was the first actual phone that I, like, digitally used. Now, that was the first phone that she actually liked because she, I did give the, her some we are not other talking phones. About- <laughs> yeah. And she didn't like I it and explain. she didn't use it. Yeah, from AT&T, I know I got you a phone. 
it was literally the tiniest phone. It's like almost giving a child a black. She was phone. a kid. She was you weren't even ten years old at that time. I would have preferred a tablet, even though I did have one. But you're like, it's an Apple tablet. It's too luxury back then. You know, you need like a tiny little phone. You just need my phone number, your sister that's phone all. number, and uh, that's all your you dad's need phone to, number. To that's it. That's it. And grandma. Yeah, that that's was it. it. Yeah. And even texting, it was like it was a limited time for texting on that little phone, and. <laughs> You only could download a few apps. It was probably like 16 gigs. That ain't a lot. <laughs> well, try having a house phone where it was the rotary dial before they did the push button where you had to go. Oh, like, oh, my God. And and it's going to come back. It's going to come back. Six. So you almost have to remember each one while it waits in between? No, you just dial six, and then it's going to pop back in place. Three. This is what I'm saying. Like, remember each number while you're turning the thing. You got to, re- like, on the number. One. See now, this, this. We need to go back and and problem had to go back in it in in time and find some old no, phone and put to... that bring that in so she can exactly know know what I'm talking about. I'm trying she to, have uh, no let, clue right now. Let me understand. <laughs> okay, no, let me understand for a second. So specifically, you would I'm gonna say. Uh, let me pull it up on my phone. That's what we gonna have I'm gonna to say we gonna turn it specifically, like say for, since oh it's like it starts God. with the six. This is so crazy. No, it starts with so... the. No, let me explain. It starts with the six. The phone number starts with the six. Yeah, I'm about to say you go to six, then you let it set for a second, then you turn to the next number and you let it set for a second. It's is going what... back. That's what I'm saying. It keep the phone. It it keeps going back. Let me show you the phone. Lord have mercy, Jesus. She showed me a video. That's I a mean, rotary dial I, I phone. Know, so that I know what I'm talking about specifically. They even have them on Amazon. <laughs> I'm like, so yeah, that, because it's yeah, retro. <laughs> yeah, so you're gonna have to do the six, let it go. This is what I'm saying. Then do the three and let it go. This but one. the thing about it is you got to remember the number because if, I, if you no, 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 no. No, if you went six three if the phone number is six three six eight six four six, I'm just making up some random yeah, phone number. If correct. it's that, don't call this number, please, right. for out of somebody so else's if, safety. <laughs> if, if if it's that number, if you dial six three, and then instead of hitting six, you hit five, now you got to hang the phone up and start all back over again. I see what the rotary phones, how it yeah. is in TV shows, and that's how I explained it. But you're like, no, that's not it. No, we had to go see a picture because you, I, I, I wasn't getting your visual. Okay, I wasn't getting but your visual. What I just said in the first place, that's what I meant. <laughs> but we had phones in the house, uh-huh. and um, basically the phone was in the living room, mm-hmm. maybe in the my mama room, in mm-hmm. the bedroom, and then it was one in the kitchen. So with those phones, you know, when we got older, mm-hmm. Mama allowed us to have one in our bedroom. Mm-hmm. But uh, another story would be with my sister being on the phone, but that's a whole other story, <laughs> so we ain't going to worry about that. <laughs> but it was just the fact of you had those phones uh-huh. in the house uh-huh. in order to communicate as far as with other people. Yeah. That was our way of communicating with, as far as telephones. Um Pay phones was out at that time. I don't think no pay phone is in existence these days because everybody have a cell phone. Yeah. As of right now. So it's just how phones evolved into the point of you really don't need a house phone anymore mm-hmm. because you have your cell phone. Yeah. Like even a child nowadays has like a cell phone of their own. It's like, why does a six year old have an iPhone or the good Samsung phone or a Google phone, something? I'm going to say just have the good phones that are out. Parents. Want them to have it? Parents, I guess, can afford it. I, I guess you know? so. You know, it, it comes it's with a probably just for convenience. You know, <laughs> four or five playing thing, or maybe it could be. You know, they probably playing all those games. They got YouTube kids and everything yeah. else. So that yeah, maybe it could be for that too. too. So I don't know. They just you weren't gonna have one at five or six years no, old. No, is it not like a good good phone? You know. Nope. That's why you ain't have a phone because you ain't want that phone I gave you. So no, you I I, I just dealt with the laptop and called it a day. That was it. <laughs> I mean, that was your choice. I wasn't going to. Yeah, that was me. You really didn't need it because we were together at all times. So why why did you need a phone? Yeah. You didn't need a phone. All right. Let's get into the next one, which is uh, dealing with cell phones. Now, this is different on the sense of like with telephones. On the sense of with cell phones. I mean, technically, the devices that we have now are like a connected telephone, cell phone type of thing because it uses cellular data. But <laughs> yeah, but you have cell towers and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, you yeah. know, in order to be connected to things like that. But 
the first cell phone that we seen, we thought it was cool in the 70s, was this big old bulky cell phone that we seen on um, TV. When like, we, like, 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 like the ones that uh, specifically... It had an antenna on it. <laughs> it was like a big, big phone you had towards your ear. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was crazy. They still had to push dial things yeah, on yeah, or yeah. whatever, mm-hmm. but it was a big bulky cell phone. We're like, wow, they got cell phones. You know, you can call somebody, you're not in the house. So mm-hmm. we thought, hey, that's technology mm-hmm. at that time. But it, it evolved. It yeah. became Obviously, better and better. Instead of bulky, now it's like slim down, easy to fit very, in your pocket. Very, you can put that one in your pocket. No, you can't <laughs> put that in your purse. <laughs> right, you couldn't. It's too couldn't. so big. I know what you're talking about there, Mother. Because you see it in like classic TV shows or at most, you know, people have it as decor for like retro style stuff. That's what I'm saying. That that was crazy, though. Yeah. But that's that's how they started off, you know, as far as it, it, it takes someone to start off with. So you have to like, use what you have at that, that time period. Right, so right. what they had at that time period in order to make for it to work, mm-hmm. they had to do it that way. Mm-hmm. So now it's like so many, they put up towers so your phone can ping from this tower to that tower. Especially if you're traveling a distance or right, whatever, for right. sure. Especially like by car or like, you know, just transportation on land. If it's in the air, obviously it ain't going to be that well connected unless your airport got it. You should have seen the phones in the car. I know. Ain't it's nothing just... like, oh, click and you own a speaker or whatever as far as the phone being in the car now you know you still had that cord and everything put into your ear with the phone being in the car back mm-hmm. in the day mm-hmm. so those cell phones see that was luxury cars how it was now Obviously, yeah i think you had to be a luxury car it, yeah. it wasn't it didn't come in um like any, everything the way it's, yeah. it comes right now where you connect your phone once you get in the car yeah most like a radio or something like uh not a radio a station the radio station specifically they'll be in the cars or whatever they're now like in built into it that has the music and everything to it and everything nowadays in a car has the bluetooth all of that right you know? right so i don't i don't i don't know how that was connected as far as being in a car i know mm-hmm. it was luxury cars at that time i had to do some research a little bit more research on that yeah just, just telling things from my own perspective as far as how i live and what i grew up with yeah. some other people probably had the opportunity to grow up with something much better um yeah. But with me, I, that's, that was my neighborhood, mm-hmm. that was my family, and mm-hmm. that's what we grew up with. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, so we're going to get into three more other topics beginning with uh, technology, and we're going to be back after this short little break. All righty, speaking of cars, the next thing that we're talking about is cars. <laughs> Yep, I can remember my first car I got was a um, 1979 Toyota Corolla, two-door hatchback. I was happy. <laughs> little white car, two-door, two or whatever. But it was just a little basic car. Mm-hmm. It was a small car with the leather seats and the um, the gear shift was, 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 in the, was in the floor or whatever. But it was still a nice car. But it wasn't no whole lot of bells and whistles in it like it like it is today yeah. and, you know I, as far as safety is concerned you know uh-huh. you had your seat belts and stuff like that but just amfm radio mm-hmm. i don't even think i had a cassette player up in there because you know that's all we would have growing up was cassette players mm-hmm. um if i can go back a little bit further than that they didn't have cassette players they had eight track players in cars so you don't know A-track? anything about the eight no, track i heard about eight tracks and i seen what they look like i'm like eight track really Th- that's what we had oh my god the, the, the eight track so we had that's far back right there that'll be that's 70 yeah, 60 like, 70 like, yeah, right eight track so that was in the car just and then now just go from eight tracks to cassettes then they had CDs. CDs. Now it's nothing. Yeah. You don't even need any of that. No, because now you're dealing with like radio stations. Satellite, satellite radio. Uh huh. And also just, you know, Spotify exists. Yeah. And, and I think they have Apple Music. Yep. So things like that, you have those apps already built into your radio. Yep. Whereas you don't even need anything. You can just ask to play any any music that you wanted to play. Mm-hmm. And it plays that. So mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's how, you know, as far as me just seeing the cars go. So I know. My people, generations before me, um, even if we go and we talk to mama about stuff like that, you yeah. can say, okay, we just 
We we probably ain't even have no radio at the time that no, you know we got like, our if first If it car. longs as it drives and gets me to destination A and B, right. that's all that matters. You right. Know? I don't even think they even had seat belts or whatever mm, when not like she that. was growing up either. But it's just the fact that still you utilize the technology that you have for that time frame, mm-hmm. and that's what you did with it. So each generation, it gets better, mm-hmm. it's get better, and it's get better. Yeah, and but, like. And like I was saying, just in general, with like the um, stations in the cars nowadays, from it being, you know, you have to have like a whole collection of CDs and everything I like had that, that, which you did. I had that. Yeah. Now it's almost like let me just do shuffle play on Spotify right here, real quick, and that's how simple it is now. You know, yeah. the first time I learned how to drive it, a standard shift, it was um, a Volkswagen Beetle, and it didn't have numbers because some of them used to have a little ball on it and it had first, second, third, you mm-hmm. know, what, what gear you need to be in. Mm-hmm. That one you just had to feel mm-hmm. to know you was in first, pull it to second, go back over to third, and pull it back to fourth mm-hmm. in order for you to go uh, go into reverse and everything else. It was crazy, but I learned how to drive it. It was nice. It was nice. Um, Just going from a standard shift to a, a car, not just, um, just a standard drive car, just, you know, just normal. Um, it it was okay. Yeah. You know, you still had to get used to not putting your hand. You know, I I did reach. Yeah. Until <laughs> because I, you, we did and we did have yeah. a car at one point in time at least uh like a rental we did that and it didn't have that at all and yeah. you're like what? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm I'm still trying to reach the shift gears, so I don't have to do that anymore. But yeah, that that I don't know. I may get a standard shift again. I don't know. I don't need to. No. You know, but, automatic you know, is fine. Yeah. Automatic is good. I mean, a lot of the cars nowadays, especially, can we talk about on the sense of like the Teslas and stuff like that, that are just on their own. You you still can steer the car, but it mostly like drives you to the destination of where you can go. In my opinion, those cars are a wee bit too advanced. That's like definitely a trust in a vehicle that you're spending X amount of money for that is, you know, does it does the driving on its own, you know? But that's the the age they're trying to get us to. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Yeah. Obviously, because even though we won't be talking about this until like, you know, next episode specifically, but you know, like how it is for the Jetsons and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I I would say with the Jetsons, the Jetsons was, I think, came out in the late sixties mm-hmm. or whatever. So even um, sometimes, like nowadays with the Simpsons, they still like you know mention things like that. I see some ep- like episode clips. I don't watch it like but that, but still, Simpsons was decades after the Jetsons. So yeah. just to even have that in play at that time, and just to look at the writers to even come up with things like that at that mm-hmm. time, it was amazing. Yeah. They way way was ad- way advanced. They like thought if, like yeah. way ahead. It's yeah. like whoa. They yeah. would think this would happen, like, on the sense of, like, almost 2010 type talk when they did all that stuff or something. Or, like, in just the 2000s, then probably the, all that would happen. You would think, but even some of the things that they even, like, the flying cars that they yeah. had in theirs, at that time, flying cars were probably even thought about. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then I like the fact that they were, um, when they were, like, if it was raining. Yeah. And she would she would call Henry, who mm-hmm. was the, I guess you say the concierge of the building or whatever, mm-hmm. and ask them, okay, Henry, it's raining. Can you take our house above the rain? So he would ra- raise the house up. So I guess Henry was be- almost like the Alexa nowadays. Almost he was real though. Yeah, he was but, real. But still though, it's like still it's like in command of something or doing something. Like an Alexa will control your lights, control. Uh, well, yeah, he did so- have control of the. Of- Right there, control of the buildings. He just know what apartment number they were in, and he just raised raised it up. Okay, before we just start Still, going into yeah, another tangent, going, Jesus Christ, yeah, we, <laughs> let's we. keep it pushed. It. We are talking about next computers. Ooh, I would love to start talking about this one for a second. Go ahead. Specifically, uh, with computers, for me, I remember a thick Windows computer, wasn't it? Specifically, the one that was like so bulky, it was like like gray or whatever, and broke it dropped it several times <laughs> as a little kid and um i remember playing games on there you know specifically the how convenient it was you know the windows computer windows really hp you know what i'm talking about <laughs> that you had in your bedroom not the my bedroom one specifically the one the laptop that one 
there, was, there was a laptop, not a desktop. I did have a desktop though. Yeah. Later on. Yeah. By myself, but still, the I'm all over the place with scatterbrain. But <laughs> I'm talking about the laptop one. That was the first uh thing I ever like played on, and it was like in like 2010 or whatever. That it was my mom's laptop, and it had Windows on it. And I'm talking about the Windows on the sense of you have to deal with if you press the thing to it, it's like did it, did it, and it's like okay, time to stop. Or even if it's loading and you try to like just do anything else, it takes forever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the downloads were insane. Trying to even get a game on like Windows back then, it took a, a few hours. Yeah. It felt like, uh, I'm like, I'm about to age 10 years in my chair. <laughs> what do you think about how it was being connected? Yeah. You know, you, you do, you still have your internet service provider, true right. enough, but they, the, um, the speed was not like the speed it is right now yeah, it's when it come down, now. come down to that. So I know the first computer that I had had the big, the monitor, the big bulky back, um, side to it. Not like I didn't have that. We didn't yeah. have that in our household. But right, and then you know had the the tower mm-hmm. to it. So now every, when you buy a computer, everything is all in one. Yep. So your your memory, your whole motherboard, all that is mm-hmm. is built into inside of that system. Mm-hmm. So it's so much better than what it was, because if I wanted to move my computer from yeah. one room to the next. I got to go get the monitor. I got to go back and get the tower. The big bulky monitor because it's not like it was light. That thing was heavy. It was heavy. Had to go back and get the keyboard. Yeah. You know, then you had your mouse and all that part of it too. So Mm -hmm. all of that compared to fast forward today, Mm -hmm. it's It's such slick designs. So much better. It's such slick designs and they don't make it like so bulky no more. Right easy to transport even with laptops it's like nice and good and portable now and it's really good the but, dog. It, <laughs> but to go from the system of being able to go to the library and use a computer yeah i do remember and then, that then have to if you didn't have a computer at home at times when my computer was not working at home mm-hmm. i was able to still have a flash drive and i would take what I needed to be printed or to look over it again on that computer at the um, library and use that printer to print stuff and out mm-hmm. stuff out mm-hmm. for a small fee. Yeah, do that as far as that was an alternative for people who did not have computers at home. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, and the last thing that uh we'll be talking about is well, at least not the last full thing. Last thing in this little segment will be is a uh, typewriter. Have you ever used a typewriter? No. <laughs> no. I have a like bubble um keyboard that acts like a typewriter for like that feeling more sense, but not really an actual retro typewriter. No. Yeah. My experience with a typewriter, my first um class that I had as far as typing, it was it was a class for me, it was in the fifth grade. I started learning how to type. Where you go to our little they had everybody set up in their own little booth. And and stuff. Kind of like a cubicle, mm-hmm. yeah, but it was, they had the little walls set up, you know, as far as long table walls, mm-hmm. not like an actual oh, okay, okay, okay. cube, but okay. anyway, we, we, we set up like that mm-hmm. in, in school, mm-hmm. and um, we would put our headsets on, mm-hmm. and you could hear a recording as far as we, the teacher had already went with us as far as our home team, ASDF, JKL, semicolon, mm-hmm. so you put your fingers there. And you listen to this thing say F, 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 space, J, 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 space, K, think... K, K, space, you know, mm-hmm. and you type it. Yeah, I'm a, I remember even taking class like that, and it did the same thing. They did the same thing for me anyway, obviously with a keyboard. Right, but... <laughs> and a computer. It's still the same audio, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's insane. Yeah. That's decades right there. <laughs> but then you had the ribbon. You had to change the ribbon out on the typewriter. Today, you know, um, you type, you type. Mm-hmm. The only thing that you really are having to change anything or add anything to is your printer. Yeah. You know, so at that particular time, we were typing in real time. Mm-hmm. And while we were typing, you were, your paper was coming up. Mm-hmm. As she was typing, so you were doing it at that time. Right now, you do stuff. I I look at it. I think 
to me, a typewriter kind of like evolved into a laptop. Yeah, basically. And well, you could say that either yeah. at most, you know, not only like a laptop where you can like see everything that you're typing, but also on top of that, just in general of evolution of the keyboard, you right. know, from it being, you know, stacked up on heights like how yeah. it used to be. Now it is compressed down and it's more flat and you can see every letter, you right. know. See everything, just period. I mean, with the typewriter, I I really enjoy it. Really having a typewriter. It looks dope, to be honest. I like I like the typewriter sound. <laughs> yeah, that's the it's the sound. You know, it's I the like sound. that sound. So you know, and then if if you it, go back some years, it didn't go back on its own. You had to push it. Yeah, back. push it back. Yeah, you seen it go over. But now, um, at that time when we were doing it, it automatically the electric typewriter typewriter, it when. It, but you have to have your margin set. If you didn't have your margin set, it was going to type on off the paper. Oh. So your margin had to be set in order for it to go back. You do it on your, your laptop. I mean, I think right now when you're doing it on your laptop and if you're in a Word document, yeah, it, it automatically just, it, yeah, have just those margins on, set up on for those, you. On um, those apps that you have on yeah, your uh, yeah. laptop that would automatically like just go to the next sentence, go to the next sentence after that. And sometimes you can even do settings for it to like leave a little space to it or anything like that just for some sort of like portfolio or anything like that that's required. <laughs> no, you're not going to believe this. We, if we wanted to change the font size, we had to change the the bearing on there. If we want to have courier, if you like want to have... actual little... Um, you had to take the whole ball up and put another ball on there, lock it in, and then it give you that letter type. Oh <laughs> yeah, so you just had to stop. So you had to just know how what what you was gonna type it in. And what you wonder why you're gonna type it in at that time. And you yeah. wonder why people wanted to do calligraphy, like pretty handwriting, on their own. Because I mean, when was they that convenient, or more since were they expensive back then to even have it in a household? Typewriter. Yeah, they were. They started off expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Then I think they went from typewriters to word processors or something like that mm. that's where they did have the screen as mm. far as with the word process there was more portable than what a typewriter was because you yeah. had a cover to put on it mm -hmm. and this and that but it's still i mean we don't need neither one in our household growing up <laughs> we had no typewriter no word processor no um computer anything like that growing up mm -hmm. at the house so no I, I i got my own computer when i moved out mm. i didn't get anything growing up like that I want to say more. You know, this is it's educating me slowly because I mean, you telling me about a few things that you did in like in your childhood and even as adult, as an in your adulthood period. But you know, hearing the explanation is definitely like, oh, it is more thought process than what it is. Yeah, you know? it, I mean, it, it's things like that you have to think about it. it. To me, at that that point in time, if you you had something like that, you're more or less. Either you were privileged, as yeah. far as I can say, you know, you're privileged, or your family ha made the sacrifice for the child to have a typewriter mm -hmm. um, in the household, or maybe someone knew somebody, maybe mm -hmm. somebody passed away, or a family member owned yeah, it, like, or, or like a company like, went out of business, yeah, yeah, yeah. or something mm -hmm. like that. Maybe they end up being privileged to have. Well, all right, that's uh, specifically, you know, about typewriters and everything else. And we are going to take a little break and uh, we'll be right back. All righty. And the uh, next thing we have is <laughs> wait, mama. <laughs> her do her little dancey dance just while we like the music. <laughs> a little short break. When you say we're going to take a break and be back, it'd be like. Three seconds. I mean, <laughs> three seconds for you to pause, you know, get something to drink, you know, maybe a blanket. That's maybe, true. you know, uh, you're true. trying to pause for a second <laughs> just to pump some gas. I don't know. <laughs> right. I don't know, but yeah. yeah. Anywho, uh, next thing that my mom wrote down is washing machines. Yes. <laughs> we had our evolution of washing machines. When I'm saying evolution, evolution of washing machines in my household. Okay. Our first washing machine that I can remember had um, the four legs on it. Mm. You had to put the water in the what? tub, in, in, I... in a part to wash. It was electric. Okay. You had to plug it in, uh -huh. and then Mama put the washing powder and stuff in there, mm -hmm. and it would go back and forth. So we went back and forth like that. And in order for us to the clothes it had a thing that was bulky on top of it 
and you would take the clothes and you pull you put the clothes in and pull the thing down and it'll put pull the clothes to the other side, wringing the water out of it. I am I am appalled. <laughs> so I'm about to no show words. her a picture of it. Well yeah. I I'm like, okay. I mean you hear people in traditional have like washboard and all that, you know. We hear washboard. Uh I remember I remember that too. And um specifically, you know, hanging on clothesline and stuff yep, like that. You did know, that. Her, I, I hear things about that. I never knew those type of washing machines were like that for y'all back then, though. Yeah, that washing machine. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that washing machine was outside. Mm-hmm. But it was just the fact that that's the way e- either we was going to ring it with that ringer, uh-huh. what they call it, the ringer, or we was going to be wringing it out with our hands Which like that. Which, in my opinion, it would be like cramping up for a period of time. It just all depends on what you was wringing out. If True you was wringing out a t-shirt or something or some that, underwear, that, that was but quick. Some that jeans? was quick to do. The jeans, that took the longest to yeah, do. I'm yeah, I'm And so, jeans. yeah, we did have to take that outside and uh, well, it was really basically outside, but still took and and put it hung it online. Mm-hmm. So we had to do that and, and bring that back in, but Still evolved from that washing machine like that to actually having a washing washer and dryer mm-hmm. inside the house. So mm-hmm. that was better. Yeah. But mama I'm telling you, mama, if the sun was shining, you wouldn't put no clothes in the dryer. <laughs> the like, clothes would be hang washed it and you gonna hang those clothes outside. <laughs> you go wait. Yeah. And the only time that we actually had the opportunity or to put it in in the dryer, mm-hmm. and she allowed us gave gave allowed us to put it in the dryer. It had to be raining outside, or it was cold, mm. too cold to hang it out. Right. Whereas if it was gonna be a freeze, cause create, no icicles on it. <laughs> we did that. We grew up like that. Tell we, the story. What happened? You said we, that you we, told me about yeah, it. Yeah, we we had to wash the clothes uh-huh. and hang them on the line, mm-hmm. and we left them outside overnight. And those clothes were stiff as a board. <laughs> you you could take the jeans and stand them up in the floor because it was frozen. Yeah, the, the, the jeans are frozen overnight. I I only I can only imagine. I that seems the most funniest thing ever in my opinion. Yeah, it happened. But you know, <laughs> that that's what you had you had to do. The jeans had to unfold in front of the the heater. <laughs> and then it's still wet. You, you didn't even exactly. get it dry. Exactly, it was still wet. It was still wet. Yep. That's funny in my opinion. But now, now thinking but, about with the washers, the washer you can you can operate a washer, put an app on your phone, yeah, and mm-hmm. your washer can start at a certain time for you. Mm-hmm. So times have changed. Yeah, and also even I mean the still process is still like you know manual type say you know just you know still got put in your detergent, your washing powder all day. Yeah, it's yeah. still that way. But I would say most the dryers have evolved more since from you know. You can change the temperature to it if you want it, you know, a nice, good, hot, warm stuff. Or even, like, you know, keep it delicate, you know, it still be a little warm, but not too crazy warm yeah. for certain materials. Yeah, I and think they really had to think about that when yeah. they did the dryer. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Because or you had to constantly check. Right, Because right, if right. you didn't check, then some things got too hot. But being right. in there too long, if you had elastic in your underwear... It was melted. Say, Emma, say, say, <laughs> it was gone melted. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no coming back from that. Yeah, so I, I think that's probably maybe one of the reasons why Mama just said, "No, we're gonna hang clothes up instead of putting it in the dryer mm-hmm. at certain times because you know if it, because you know it was a time settings. You know, certain certain get set it for thirty minutes, mm-hmm. fifteen minutes, twenty minutes. It's it's those time settings that we had to put on there. I don't think just like you said, it wasn't a delicate cycle, permanent press. Right. You know. Um, Hand wash, yeah, you know, like, stuff like medium, that. Medium heavy, all that, right? You know. Right. So we we didn't have that um, growing up. You just put it in for a certain period of time. You know, okay, it's my jeans, and yeah, I need to go like 30, 40 minutes. But mm-hmm. if it's a, a t shirt or my undies or whatever, then yeah, we we probably need to put that in the fifteen twenty minutes. Yeah, you know, that's so it, that's it. It, it 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 worked out. Yeah, I'm gonna say you know it still is you know quite convenient you know. Still got you know places to wash your clothes and everything like but that. But you never experienced hanging up anything outside no, on never. the clothesline. So. Not a clothesline, hanging up clothes to dry. Yeah, but not on the sense of you know a whole load. Does that if right. that makes any sense? You know. But yeah, uh, the next thing that we're gonna talk about in general is stoves. That's what you wrote down. I wrote down stoves. Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah, because the stove that um I grew up with it was a gas stove. 
So our gas stove now, you know, we basically deal with electric stove. Yeah, electric. Because you never, you never dealt with a gas stove growing up. Not, not the one that just like a tick, tick, tick type sense, or is that the? No, I was get rid of one. It was gas. It was actually gas. You had to have a pilot light lit in order for oh, that the, gas the, the, to the, run the, 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 <laughs> through it once you turn it on. Yeah, they must have been electric. Like, oh. Yeah, I mean, I you see them now, especially like yeah. you know, chefs will still probably have them. Just but for, yeah, you like you say now, now you know you do yeah. hear the tick tick. Yeah. But with us, we ain't hear no tick tick. We turned it on, and you can you can smell the gas. Mm-hmm. And when you smell it, then you if it didn't automatically come on for you, that means that pilot was lit to bring that that um fire through the gas. At least that pilot wasn't lit. Whereas when the gas was turned on, you know, mm-hmm. with with fire mm-hmm. and gas. It should, it should, it should a flame uh, would come uh, up, uh-huh. you know, and then you have that thing there to, um, to contain where the fire was going to be as far as on the stove. But yeah, those things heat. I'm telling those you, things, at that's times, like a fire hazard. Really, look at time like maybe, but it was certain times of the year where it's your heater wasn't working in your room, the gas heater wasn't working in your room. Mom will turn that this oven on and leave that oven door open. In the warm of the whole little house that I we was in. I can imagine. I know we still do that now sometimes, yeah. especially especially around around this time. You know where it get cold. You know. Yeah. So you know it. It it it, it cooks quicker than an electric stove. But sometimes because I think like an electric stove cooks it does quicker it too. too much, I don't know. Too, I don't know. I mean, I can I can explain it. More since with electric stoves nowadays, more since it's like very um, it heats up everything sometimes a wee bit too quick, and you're like um. I only put you like on five, you know, like right, right there in the middle, and we is almost you're acting like we on max about to heat. burn it, and then you're about to burn up something. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A, and it, sometimes I think it's a wee bit too powerful, and just you know, sometimes the sound like of electric with the stuff. gas, the gas, with the stove, gas, it, it sounds like it's more like you know, you con- you controlling the yeah, heat, yeah, controlling it, yeah, yeah, you controlling the heat, that. you know, as far as that. I mean, we like our gas, so you still you still have to watch it, yeah, because. Certain people's houses burn down. That's, that's from grease fires with, with you know leaving stuff on because mm-hmm. you you have to heat up the grease just like you heat up the grease in the electric skillet. Yeah, is what you all do, um, you still have to watch it. So yep. some people you know they have their preference as far as gas stoves whether they want to do gas stoves whether they want to do electric stoves. Mm-hmm. Now you got convection ovens yeah. and all that stuff there too. Even so more sense of like um uh, not even stoves it's like um. How it is for um, what is air fryers? Air fryers, yeah. Yeah. air fryers, not only like as an actual oven air fryer or at most yeah. of the way that you pop in and out. Sometimes even we can talk about grills for a second. You know, you can maintain like control of like how hot a grill can get, or even like nowadays, you know, you can have that thing electric and it be like almost get grill marks on it yeah. and everything. So, yeah. I mean. To each their own when it comes to stoves, because in my opinion, it, it just depends on your household and what you do, what you cook, all that, yeah. you know. Yeah, what you need in the kitchen, because yeah. me, the only thing I need is an oven, and I wish we had six burners instead of four yeah. at times, but then you still need that space as far and as having... And good ventilation, Yeah, for as sure. far as having those six burners, because... Because it can't get stuffy real quick Right, that. you know, when you get to cooking, especially since the holidays and stuff is coming up, we definitely going to have to pay attention to that. Alrighty, and the last thing we have is a microwave. Yep, I remember Mama was gifted a microwave, and the first microwave that we got was very big. Mm-hmm. It was a big microwave, but it was a nice one. But that's the way they was making them at that time. Mm-hmm. And over the years, it's gone from being um, those big, bulky microwaves to being a smaller one, which is still yeah. probably still have the same wattage that she had yeah. as far as in the big one. Like, I don't think the wattage yeah. has changed throughout the years. More since it, I say, even with the styles, it's still like you know, it just depends on what you want. But even with that big microwave that she had, she can cook a turkey in it. At that time, I guess you, know, you can say you microwaves can evolved to air fryers. I guess. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you got the microwaves with the air fryers, and I'm sure they have those timers on it too, where yeah. they probably can start cooking at a certain time. You, what people cooking cakes and people cooking whole meals in microwaves. Literally, <laughs> I'm like, you can cook a whole meal up in there. It's like, how do you do that? But I can tell you one thing too about a microwave. They used to have the rotary thing 
and then when it's when it was done, you hear like a ding. Oh, yeah. you probably see that in some old hotels specifically. Yeah. I know I have yeah. seen those so before. So they it, where it, it it turns around instead of having a push mm-hmm. button. So yeah, I do remember that with the microwave. Mm-hmm. But hers, the first one she got was push button. It it wasn't um like that, but it was a big one though. I can tell you that <laughs> it took up a um I think we she had like a um like a rolling cart or something um kind of like if you would think about it as far as being an island but it was it was it was a cart mm-hmm. so at that time when they was making microwaves they made microwave carts oh. so you would buy a cart particularly for your microwave because people didn't have that much counter space okay. to really be putting the microwave on the counter so you had your microwave then you purchased a microwave cart at that time but now you know your microwave is built in t- above your Either, stove yeah, and the wall, the and, and you know wall, it's yeah. put in places where. Well, now you have more counter space than what you had too mm-hmm. um, when we was growing up. So with with that much counter space and microwaves these days, how as compact as they are today, mm-hmm. it's not taking up that much counter space. Yeah, yeah, I can agree with that too. But once again, when it comes to like what we say with stoves, to each their own. You know, it just yeah. depends on what you want to do. You know, there's so many appliances out there for. An everyday household person, you know. I still want to stove with a double oven. Show, <laughs> oh, dude. I, I mean, just saying, you know, you think about you this know, time she, of the year, yep, you, you, especially you, you now, cook, you know, you, especially you cook now. A, lot, a lot in there. So yeah, I, I do. That's my dream is to have a stove with a double oven. Yep, that's what she wants. Hint, 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 hint. <laughs> <laughs> Make it for your dream house. You find a house for retirement. Right, hopefully, right. hopefully I can do that. I uh, hopefully I can do that for you. I but, appreciate it. <laughs> but specifically, you know seeing things and understanding some things from your perspective especially i learned a lot from today because i'm like even for me being young i'm like i didn't know you had to go through that i didn't know it, it was like this i'm like okay. but it was good though it was yeah. good growing up I'm, I'm not griping about how it was for us i just know that i seen how technology evolved and mm-hmm. it's better for generations it, it got better as as the years came, you yeah. know, roll by, you yeah. know, it, it got better. It evolves each time. And in my opinion, especially like, you know, handheld technology for it, like even me experiencing like desktops and like the laptops and evolution from just that to all in one, but an iPad, because the iPads were more sense of that right, thing. Right, right. And then it, we say, okay, y'all like the iPad. Let's compress it down. We're going to give y'all, you know, an iPhone just for it to be in your pocket, you know? Yeah. Instead, like you know, Still don't have like one. flip phones, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like flip phones and stuff. You know, I mean, just certain things like that. I I seen that through my childhood. I dealt with CDs, dealt with VHS and stuff like that. So, I mean, even hearing you now talk about like, especially the stuff in the cars, I didn't expect that eight track tape. Yeah, I'm like eight <laughs> track for real. I didn't know that was in like old style cars. I'm like okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean. It's it's very interesting for me, and I I'm very happy for uh me to even listen to that and let uh the wonderful viewers listen to it as well. Yeah, I, one thing I failed to put on the list, and we'll probably talk about that another time. Was it radio? Oh yeah. How how the radios evolve? Oh, it evolved yeah. so much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and we'll probably talk about that. We'll probably like make a part two to this sometime in the future. You or know? put it on a bonus. Yeah, put like a, maybe a bonus yeah, episode. Yeah, a or bonus something. episode. Yeah, yeah, just just throw that in there. Mm-hmm. Put the this and the season teams on it. You know, <laughs> some radio season teams on it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, so uh, we are going to end it off on this note. In my opinion, things evolve. You know, yeah, things are in. It, the economy is going to evolve. It's going to, uh, at least the whole world is going to keep evolving with different technology every year, every single day. Somebody has an idea and they're going to go a full mile with it. In my opinion, you know, for it's, it's, it's going to be for the better, of course, you know, with each thing. But once again, to each their own, you exactly. know, yep. and um, depends on what you want to do with that technology, you know, from cell phone to even the stove that you use in your kitchen. It's up to you at the end of the day, you know. And um, I'm like I said, I I didn't know you had to deal with certain things, you know, growing up, and even as like being in your adulthood and stuff like that. Even a few things for me, I'm like, yeah, I do remember hearing about that as a kid, but you never like talked fully about it. And right. I'm happy you did, right. you know. Yeah. So and I I do want to thank. Uh, people for taking the time out of their busy schedule to listen to our podcast. Mm-hmm. We appreciate it. We know we knew. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's something different 
to hear we authentic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're not trying to um, come out here and act like we are different people because this is Deborah Love 24 yeah. 7. This is me. <laughs> And you know. this is Imaria Love, literally probably the most that you're going to see out of me on the internet ever, in my opinion. So, right. yeah. <laughs> so, we really, really thank you all for um, thank you. supporting thank you us so and, 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 and doing taking the time out just, just to listen to us for, what, 45 minutes to yeah. an hour yeah. on a Sunday. Like I said, you can listen to us while you cleaning up, yeah. you uh, cooking, yeah, cooking, driving in your car. Yep. Or, or just, just chilling out in your bed, just listening looking to at the, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Do whatever you want, you know. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for listening and watching to episode two of the podcast. Us talking about technology. Uh, if you want to follow the podcast, you can follow it at uh, What's the Topic Again podcast on YouTube. And you can search us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and also Amazon Music at What's the Topic Again Podcast. And uh, we also have a website, which is What's the Topic Again.com. My mom just made her first blog post yes, today. Yes, I did my blog. Yeah. yeah. So, what is, is about at least the title of that blog specifically, Mama? How I bounce back. Yeah, this is. I I read it a little bit. It's <laughs> it really gets into detail. She really does, and I think you should go read it on uh the website on the blog page anyway. And uh, you can follow me at my socials at uh m four r s x l o v e. I'm everywhere. I don't post everywhere, but I am everywhere. <laughs> Ain't nowhere. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're gonna end it here. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna end it here. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. And we'll see you guys next Sunday at 12 p.m. EST. Have Bye-bye. a good week. Bye. <laughs>